In the hushed corridors of memory, there's a room where forgotten films gather, waiting for the light of recollection to illuminate their frames once more. Among these cinematic treasures, a timeless gem gleams the year was 1978, and coma graced the silver screen. Can you recall the very first time the eerie tale unfolded before your eyes? Perhaps it was a rainy afternoon or a late night screening, but the impact was palpable, etching the suspense and intrigue deep into your mind. Did you find yourself drawn into the labyrinthine mysteries of the Jefferson Institute, where the line between life and death blurred into an unsettling gray? As you journey back to that initial encounter, let the images resurface the stark hospital corridors, the lingering whispers of conspiracy, and the gripping tension that seeped through the screen. Moments of unease intertwined with fascination, leaving an indelible mark on your cinematic journey. Was it Michael Douglas' unyielding pursuit of the truth, or Genevieve Bujold's relentless determination that resonated with you? Or perhaps it was the chilling realization that even the most mundane settings can shroud the darkest secrets. But let us not dwell solely on memories. As the curtain rises once more, let's venture beyond the surface and explore the lesser-known facets of coma. Beyond the mesmerizing performances and the gripping plot lies a realm of intriguing facts and anecdotes that interlace with the very fabric of the film's creation. From behind the scenes curiosities to the director's visionary choices, each detail unveils a new layer to the experience you once cherished. So, my fellow cinephile, join me in a journey of rediscovery. Unearth the tidbits that amplify your understanding of coma, shedding light on the dedication, ingenuity, and serendipity that converge to birth this cinematic marvel. As we delve into these captivating revelations, let your own memories intertwine with the newfound knowledge, breathing fresh life into a narrative that has endured the test of time. And as the credits roll once again on this nostalgic expedition, remember the movies we treasure are more than just celluloid and pixels. They are fragments of our own stories, etched in the flickering glow of the silver screen. The 1978 movie Coma, directed by Michael Crichton, and based on the novel by Robin Cook, delves into the unsettling underbelly of modern medicine. Set in a prestigious hospital, the film follows Dr. Susan Wheeler as she investigates an alarming number of seemingly inexplicable comas among patients. The movie's intense atmosphere and suspenseful storytelling keep viewers engaged, while the iconic character of Dr. Wheeler, portrayed by Genevieve Bujold, adds depth to the narrative. Michael Douglas' role as her supportive friend and colleague complements the tense ambience. With its unique blend of medical drama and thriller, coma captivated audiences and sparked discussions about ethical issues in healthcare. The film's impact on popular culture remains palpable, leaving a lasting impression on both the medical genre and cinematic storytelling as a whole. Medical realism meets cinematic suspense, unveiling the intriguing story behind the 1978 thriller Coma in the Realm where medical realism meets cinematic suspense. The 1978 thriller Coma, directed by the multifaceted Michael Crichton, leaves an indelible mark on the minds of its viewers. While its gripping narrative and tension-packed sequences have remained etched in film history, it's the convergence of medical expertise and creative storytelling that truly sets this movie apart. Director Michael Crichton, recognized for his ability to weave science and fiction seamlessly, brought an uncommon depth to coma. Lesser known, perhaps, is the fact that Crichton had first-hand experience in the medical world, having attended medical school before venturing into the realm of storytelling. His intimate familiarity with medical practices lent an unparalleled authenticity to the film's depiction of a dark conspiracy within the corridors of a hospital. However, the medical influences didn't end there. The movie's source material, Robin Cook's novel of the same name, derived its authenticity from Cook's own profession. As a qualified doctor, a surgeon, and an ophthalmologist, Cook injected his medical insights into the spine-chilling narrative, elevating it beyond mere fiction. This union of medical minds between Crichton and Cook not only brought coma to life, but also pushed the boundaries of medical thrillers in cinema. Amidst the intense storytelling, one imagery from coma has persisted through time of haunting depiction of a coma clinic. Suspended by wires attached to their wrists and ankles, numerous men and women appeared almost ethereal, trapped in an unsettling limbo. This striking visual served as the cornerstone for the movie's promotional material, 
etching an unforgettable impression in the minds of potential viewers. Notably absent from the movie's cast was Farrah Fawcett, who missed out on the role of Dr. Susan Wheeler due to her ongoing commitment to Charlie's Angels. While Fawcett's absence is well documented, it paved the way for Genevieve Bugel to step into the shoes of the protagonist, bringing her own depth and dimension to the character. As Coma continues to resonate with audiences, its legacy remains woven into the tapestry of both medical and cinematic realms. With its foundation rooted in the combined medical acumen of Michael Crichton and Robin Cook, and its imagery leaving an indelible mark on the annals of film history, Coma stands as a testament to the power of collaboration and creativity. So, the next time you find yourself in the grip of suspenseful storytelling within the walls of a hospital, remember that Coma wasn't just a work of fiction, it was a convergence of medical reality and cinematic artistry that continues to captivate to this day. 1,978 Seconds Coma, unveiling the terrifying world of hospitals, producer Martin Ehrlichman's vision for the 1978 thriller Coma stemmed from a primal fear he aimed to exploit on the big screen. Drawing parallels to the impact of Jaws on ocean phobias, Ehrlichman set out to accentuate the unnerving fear many harbor towards hospitals. He saw hospitals as spaces people couldn't entirely avoid, unlike the ocean, making the terror even more potent. This anxiety-laden premise catalyzed the creation of a film that penetrated the heart of a universal fear, enveloping audiences in a chilling narrative. Based on Robin Cook's novel, Coma underwent several transformations during its transition to the screen. Notably, the protagonist's portrayal shifted from a feminist blonde medical student in the book to a brunette second-year surgical resident in the film. The feminist themes present in the source material were streamlined, resurfacing only in the form of heated exchanges between characters. Another alteration saw the medical institute's location change from a city setting to a suburban enclave. These modifications reshaped the story's dynamics, ensuring a gripping cinematic experience while retaining its core essence. The film also celebrated a significant milestone for veteran actor Richard Widmark, marking his 30th anniversary in the movie industry. His presence in coma added both gravitas and legacy to the film, serving as a reminder of the actor's enduring contributions to the silver screen. Homer remains an unsettling exploration of hospital-induced fears, capturing the essence of its source material while adapting it for maximum impact. The movie's ability to tap into the primal unease associated with medical settings, combined with its alterations from the novel, solidifies its place in the annals of suspenseful cinema. Ed Harris' debut and the real fears of coma in the realm of suspenseful cinema, the 1978 thriller Coma Stands is a pinnacle of fear-fueled storytelling. Notably, it marked the feature film debut of the now-renowned actor Ed Harris. His nuanced performance as Dr. Breslau, a character entwined in the unsettling narrative, hinted at the remarkable career he would go on to forge. Director Michael Crichton, celebrated for his knack for weaving science and suspense, revealed his intentions in an interview with Millimeter magazine. He shared, This is a story that contains many elements of reality, the fear people have of surgery, the fear of dying at the hands of your doctor, phobias about hospitals. Those are very real fears, and so to exaggerate them would not be much fun. Crichton's vision was to balance the eerie with the believable, allowing the audience to relish the chills without dredging up deeper anxieties. A captivating twist adds to the film's mystique, the presence of actor Tom Selleck as surgery patient Sean Murphy. This role, seemingly minor, would later connect him with Michael Crichton once again, leading to their collaboration on Runaway in 1984. Homer resonates with a vivid fusion of reality and imagination as it navigates the genuine terrors that hide within the realm of medicine. The film's portrayal of fearsome scenarios within a surgical context brings to light the unsettling thoughts that often remain tucked away. Ed Harris' inaugural steps into the world of cinema, Crichton's insightful approach, and the unexpected Selleck cameo all contribute to the lasting intrigue of this cinematic gem. Sourced from IMDb and expertly crafted, this article was Suspense on Screen, The Strain Behind 1978 Seconds Coma in the Realm of Cinematic Tension. Few moments grip audiences quite like the silent crescendo of a well-executed score. However, the 1978 medical thriller Coma, directed by Michael Crichton, dared to defy this convention. 
In a bold move, the film held off on introducing any musical backdrop until the 45-minute mark, weaving an eerie atmosphere that left viewers unnerved in its chilling absence. But that was just the tip of the iceberg in the making of this suspenseful classic. Julie Christie, the acclaimed British actress, was initially pegged to portray the lead character, Dr. Susan Wheeler, a role pivotal to the story's intrigue. It eventually found its home with Genevieve Bujold. The tantalizing what-if of Christie's involvement echoes through cinematic lore. Yet, it was the eerie spectacle of the coma clinic that truly pushed the boundaries. Background artists took on the arduous task of embodying coma patients suspended by wires. These performers endured six-minute takes of physical strain, their bodies suspended only from the hips and neck, yet contorting to simulate the sensation of full-body suspension. The complexity of this feat led to tables on jacks, allowing reprieve between takes. Director Michael Crichton remarked, It was technically very complicated because the people could only hang for six minutes. You see, the suspension was actually only from the hips and neck. In this eerie ballet, 16 real individuals and 15 dummies collaborated to craft a haunting tableau. Crichton's statement underscores the lengths to which the crew went to capture authenticity, pushing the boundaries of visual storytelling. The legacy of Coma rests not only on its narrative intrigue, but on the physical demands it placed upon its cast and crew. The absence of a musical score, the alternate casting choices, and the daring wire suspended sequences all wove together into a tapestry of suspense that continues to captivate audiences today. As we bid adieu to the world of coma, a journey embarked upon in 1978, we find ourselves at the crossroads of nostalgia and imagination. The intricate plot lines, the spine-tingling suspense, and the characters that forever etched their presence in our minds, these are the threads that weave the tapestry of our personal cinematic connection. As the credits roll, it's an invitation to look back, not just on the scenes that unfolded on screen, but on the moments it stirred within us. Was it the heart-pounding chase through the corridors, the enigmatic web of mystery that enveloped the plot, or perhaps the lingering questions it left behind? Each of us has our own treasure trove of memories, emotions, and interpretations, adding a unique layer to the film's legacy. So, I beckon you, dear reader, viewer, to step into the realm of your reflections. Revisit the suspense that kept you at the edge of your seat, the characters that resonated with your own experiences, and the whispered what-ifs that linger even today. Your thoughts are the hues that color the canvas of this timeless movie, making it an indelible part of your journey. Share with us your favorite moments, your musings, and the emotions it evokes within you. Let's celebrate the legacy of Coma not just as a cinematic masterpiece, but as a mirror to our inner narratives. Your words are the threads that continue to weave the story of this film in the grand tapestry of pop culture. Thank you for lending your time and indulging in the magic of reminiscence. Your connection to Coma is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling, a bridge between past and present that enriches our lives. Until we meet again on this journey through words and memories, cherish the whispers of Coma in your thoughts and hearts. With cinematic regards, 